You're not in a box. You don't have to put your natural hair in a box. Thumbnails first. I won't forget. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can see, I am going to talk about some natural hair rules that I no longer follow. So I've been natural now for Let me find out. Stand by. One hour later. This July will make four years since your girl has been natural. I don't know. It seems like, I don't know, it seems like forever now, as long as I can remember. But anyways, so yeah, I've been natural four years, and listen, they won't lie when they say the natural hair journey is a journey. Okay, it indeed is. It is truly a journey. But I can say it didn't take me long to find out what my hair likes, what my hair didn't like. As of recently, as you all can probably tell, I've been wearing my hair differently. I'm in Charlotte, so I wanted to find somebody who specializes in natural hair. So I went on Instagram and I searched um, by some hashtags and I found her. And um, cause I love searching on Instagram because I can see your work. And I found her and she, she truly, just put everything in a new perspective for me. Like she totally, it used to take me six to eight hours to wash my hair. Now it takes me half the time to wash my hair. Um, so I used to, and I, I used to wear my hair and washing goals all the time. Like as of recently, when I got my relaxed ends cut, I didn't know what to do with my hair. So I was doing like twist outs on wet hair. And I'm not really a fan of twist outs on wet hair personally for me. Um, at least not back then. I was determined to get the wash and go down. And when I sure enough did my first successful wash and go, there was no going back for me, honey. I was doing my wash and goes all the time. I was doing my wash and goes up until I stopped doing my wash and goes. I want to say like end of last year, uh, ever since I went to Nikki, because hear me out. She's been um, doing natural hair for 40 plus years. So she really knows what she's talking about. And she really debunked a whole bunch of natural hair community rules and things that we believe off of YouTube. I really appreciate that because not only I like, I just knew it was a movement. Like YouTube was like popping with natural hair. And I noticed that shift kind of like around the same time. Well, it's not the same time, a little later. Yeah. When I knew I wanted to do something different to my hair is when I realized like it wasn't as popular on YouTube anymore. Um, so I knew I wanted to do something different to my hair because I was doing my wash and goes and I was just like, I'm just ready for a change. Last year I focused on protective styling. That's why I had um, braids, I had my passion. I, I was focusing on protective styles last year. This year it was my goal, my promise to myself to focus on the health of my hair. Cause even though I did the protective styles last year, I wasn't staying up on my trims. And that, my friend, is a big no-no. I wasn't um, staying up on my trims because I would keep a protective style in for two, three months. And, um, which is fine if you got your hair fresh. Like I would get my hair trimmed before the style, but still it was just the, it was just the tension of the styles, I think. I wasn't prioritizing my trims last year. And so it wasn't until this year that, like I said, I made up my mind to stay up on my trims because when she showed me like how much I needed to get trims, Ooh. now granted, thankfully I have thick hair my hair is still long. So I was like, just go ahead and get rid of what you need to. And you know, we're still, I think we're still working away at um, some ends, but for the most part, yeah, cause like I need a trim now. <laughs> so I'll be getting a trim soon, but um, it was a lot of ends that definitely had to go. That's just big, like stand up on your trim. So I no longer do wash and goes because when you do wash and goes, your, your curls are pretty much entangled for lack of a better term or wrapped around each other kinda in a way. You know, like when you, if they're clumped or even though I, I would shingle mine, um, but still it's like over time that 
what that does to the ends of your hair is not good at all. Um, causing like single strand knots, fairy knots, and just, just a whole bunch of stuff that, that you don't want. And so Nikki, my hairstylist was like, why don't you ever blow out your hair? Why don't you style your hair on blown out hair? And I was like, you know, I don't know. That, that's a good idea. Why, why don't I? I didn't, um, I mean, I do. I did have a blow dryer. I never blew my hair out with that one. I have the silver bird now, which I will show in a later video. Y'all will see my silver bird. That's my baby. Like, I love that thing. It gives me salon results at home. And I, and I love that blow dryer. So now I blow, I blow out my hair and as you can see my hair this is my hair blown out but this is a twist out and i this is my like new go-to this is my new signature because i love my twist out on blown out hair this is the change that i've been wanting like this is the change that i didn't even know i needed but i knew i wanted you know and nikki was like because when, when you do your hair on blown out hair it's more manageable versus styling it on wet hair and that's true because I used to be up in the shower so long doing my wash and goes. Like that was the longest, that was the part that took the longest just doing my wash and goes in the shower. Now I'm literally in and out the shower. So my routine now, um, I still pre-pool, which I absolutely love. But matter of fact, let me look at my product. So my old routine, I guess I can start with how my routine used to be and then fast forward to how my routine is now. So I used to pre-poo, which I still do, because I, I refuse to jump in the shower with my hair tangled, not, not detangled, okay? That's just asking for a disaster, like <laughs> with my, with, with thick hair, that is. Um, so I still pre-poo, but I used to pre-poo differently, right? I used to pre-poo and like twist my hair as I'm, as I'm going, like as I'm detangling, pre-pulling and detangling, I would twist that section to keep it uh, detangled and elongated. But now, like Nikki was like, why, she, she, she showed me too when she was doing my hair. She was like, why don't you just do bantu knots? You just do like four bantu knots. And I'm, you know, when I'm, when I'm, I love learning new things, but I'm, I'm thinking like, why did I not like think that? Because I was thinking, I didn't know if my hair was gonna be manageable like that, but it is because it's getting longer. So uh, it definitely is. So now I just take like, I part my hair in like four sections and I just bend two knotted while I'm pre pouring and I just have four sections versus having like a head full of twists like I'm doing a twist out before I even get in the shower and just doing that the whole time. And then I used to do, okay, now this is one that's probably gonna get a lot of people because I know some people like just still think, some people still swear by it, live by it, and that's fine, you know, do what works for you, but Another myth that she debunked is protein treatment. Yeah, I said protein treatment. She was like, why do you do protein treatments? And I was like, you know, to keep your, uh, you know what I learned off YouTube, it keeps your hair strong and everything. But she was like, you have virgin hair, like your hair, you haven't dyed, your, your hair is not colored, it's not chemically treated. So why are you doing protein treatments? <laughs> And well, of course I played with color before. I had color like when I was um, transitioning and then at the end of when I was relaxed. So, I mean, if you're, if you're colored, if your hair is color treated or chemically, chemically treated, you do need to, you do need your protein treatments. But she's tell, she was like, you have virgin hair. You don't need to be using protein treatments. And she told me, I wish I, I may have to um, vlog when I go get my trim or just, let her put y'all on game too because honey she got me right she got me straight she was telling me it's actually doing it was actually doing more harm than good because my hair is virgin hair my hair stylist she said that your hair is already made of protein so you don't have to keep putting protein in, into it when your hair is made of protein because I, I i did always know that but i feel like you know the natural hair community up here which we're which we still appreciate because we definitely learned a lot unlearned some things 
and it was just all a part of our journey so i definitely don't take anything away from the natural hair community like it's still very much appreciated it still help uh, and it's, it's still it's still helpful there's still things that was being taught that's still true but there's a lot that's not hair is made of protein and it was actually was doing more bad than it was good so i cut out protein treatments so Afigy, even the new one, because I stopped using Afigy because I thought that was too strong and just too many steps with that. So even I had used another one called Botanicals, but I just stopped protein altogether. I haven't noticed that, that it's done anything to counterproduct, you know, my, the health of my hair or anything. So I really feel like my hair is benefiting from it or my hair is just fine without it. And that's just really, that's just, that was just extra chemicals. Um, and the next thing, and then so I used to shampoo it, of course. I used to deep condition every wash day. That's something that I no longer do. It's something else my hairstylist taught me. You do not have to deep condition your hair every single wash day. Just because that's too much moisture. And the deep conditioner I was using at the time, she asked me, like, did it say? Because I have a hooded dryer over there in the corner. I used to, like, sit up under the dryer for, like, 30 minutes. And she was like, does... What she, she asked me what kind of deep conditioner I use, and she said, on the packaging, does it say sit up under the dryer for 30 minutes? And I was like, no, because it didn't. I had to look it up because I didn't have it on me at the time, and I was looking at the directions. It did not say that. So she was like, then why are you doing it? Because it's not, it's not make, it doesn't mean it's making it do any more than what, it's, than what it would do if you don't sit up under the dryer. So basically, deep conditioning, and hair mask is two different things. So like there's um, a hair mask that she uses on my hair, which I love. I still have not yet gotten it. It's at Sephora Mazzani, I believe. That is a hair mask that um, she wants me to do every other wash day. I haven't gotten it yet. So I have not been deep conditioning my hair at all. But I do a rinse out conditioner now and she um, recommended doing a rinse out conditioner. I need to get my hands on that deep conditioning mask so I can do it every other wash day. For the rinse out, you literally just leave it in your hair for five minutes. While I have it on my hair, I don't need to take my, do my shower routine, so that's about five minutes anyway. So after my shower routine, I'll just rinse it out. And move on with my rinsing it out and getting ready to blow dry my hair. So literally, I'm like in the shower, I don't even think of like an hour anymore. Probably like, about 45 minutes 30 to 45 minutes it like actually in the shower and i'm out <laughs> i do what i need to do and then i'm out i shampoo my hair condition my hair and then i'm right back out so my favorite favorite and a lot of hairstylists favorite as well is the design essentials agave and lavender and you can see it's empty child i really love this because it has it adds the shine but it, it's a blow dry soup press it's their blow dry and soap press collection. It's the blow dry and style and primer. And when I tell you this is a heat guard fast blow dry, it does just that. I'm, I gotta I gotta hurry up and re up on this because this is my go to. Okay, for blow drying my hair. But since I had ran out of that for the last couple um, blow drying sessions, I've been using um, the Tresemme one, which smells this smells so good, and I do like the spray bottle applicator but i'm ready to get some more of my design essentials then of course <laughs> y'all knew i'm y'all y'all already know i'm gonna be mentioning i'm gonna mention this product in this video i mentioned it in another vlog as well but this is the start of the show baby a style product that i use to achieve my bomb twist outs this right here this is the one and i've only bought one of, one of these and i still and i've done i've i've used this a, at least five times and i still have quite a bit left this stuff right here this is the melanin twist elongating style cream by my girl the one and only natural 85 here on youtube whitney if you're watching this she already knows how I feel about this product. She's posted me on her story and I'm actually a Melanin Babe. Yeah, stay tuned for some other news. I love her products. First of all, I love everything she's about. Like she actually is a cosmetologist now. So she's licensed and she has her, just look at it. This is so thick. Well, I mean, it's not even too thick. It's thick, but not too thick. I love thick products and my hair loves thick products. What I'm saying. This is so moisturizing. And the hold on this, like I literally, I, I only, this is a one 
product twist out. All my twist outs that y'all been seeing on my hair has been just this product right here. That's why I say this product is the star of the show because it's just, I've just been using this product on my twist out. I love her products, like her shampoo, even her leave-in conditioner, her oil. I crack the code because when I do bigger twists, I get like bigger, like bigger hair. Like when I do bigger twists, I get fluffier hair, and but I notice it, it doesn't last as long. When I do smaller twists, but with a lot of product, I get like you know tight results. But I cracked the code because now, like this is what I did this time. I did smaller twists. I did a little bit smaller twists. They were like medium size and stuff. The key is not using too much of it because like you would feel like you need to. That's the only product you're using that you do need more than you do, but you don't because on that hold on that. Twist elongating cell cream is out of this world. Like that hold is gonna do it every time. I'll just go ahead and show you the shampoo while we're talking about it. The shampoo and conditioner now because it's the same brand. And it's Olaplex. She is a um a Olaplex brand ambassador, I believe. Yes, you can use this on black hair, textured hair. So this is the Olaplex number four bond maintenance shampoo. And see it's 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 bond maintenance, so it repairs, strengthens, and nourishes all hair types. All hair types. And see, that's why virgin hair don't need to, don't need any protein because it's all, all what you need is in this shampoo. You can ask for more, Nur repairs, strengthens, and nourishes. And I love this. Literally, this is the first bottle that I brought, and look, look how much is in there. It's still like half, I still have like half left. And this is the first bottle that I bought. I bought this like sometime last year, I think. Because literally a little goes a long way because this lathers up. When I tell you, this lathers up so well. Normally I like a lot of product. That's just me, I like a lot of product. But this, but you don't need a lot of product with this because this really goes a long way. Then I have the um, the pairing Olaplex number no. five bond maintenance conditioner, see? We, it's still on that bond maintenance. Nail cam, shout out to my nail tech, Betsy, the best, period. But yeah, and this one's the same thing, repairs, strengthens, and nourishes all hair types. So I've been using these and I've been loving it. So it's a clarifying shampoo. I tell you, clarifying shampoos is, even like when I did was doing my wash and goes, I still use my, it's, it's still important as Dory back there. It's still very important to use clarifying shampoo because your hair does need to be stripped of product buildup. It doesn't strip it to like where it feels like straw. Thank God, because I didn't, I would not be using it if it did. But you can tell it really does clean your hair. Okay, so this is the pre poo that I use, by the way. Um, African Pride, I've been using this like forever now since I've started pre pooing and that was years ago. That was like around the time, not too long after I went natural, I feel like. Once my hair was getting longer and I knew I wanted to start detangling before I go in and shower, it's pre poo And my hairstylist also agrees. pre pooing is very important, so I still pre poo and I still use this because the texture, honey, if you can see that. But this literally makes my hair a breeze like butter to detangle. This literally like makes my hair, makes the tangle in my hair a breeze like. I do try to trim my hair every six to eight weeks, but I, I like to listen to my hair at the same time too. Um, but I, I can tell I need to trim because of when I was doing it like detangling, I, I can tell I need to trim. And my hairstylist Nikki said natural hair, like just because you're natural doesn't mean that, that you're limited to what you can do. So you can still straighten your hair. You can you can color your hair, which a lot of other natural gurus have been doing. Or you can see where you know you can tell there's been a change in the natural hair. You know, with, with, with the just natural hair overall in general. So more people wearing it blown out, straight. It's all about maintaining the health of your hair. As long as your hair is healthy, you can you can straighten it, girl. And I think I wanna I wanna I know I wanna try out. It's another style I want to try out. I'm not gonna see it yet. Y'all gonna see. Um, um, for my on my hair and yeah. So the, your hair, you're not in a box. You don't have to put your natural hair in a box. <laughs> is what she's saying. So I really, she she says she, she has clients that come to her every two weeks to get their hair still pressed. Now I ain't thinking that's gonna be me, but and and she said their hair is still healthy. Like 
your hair, as long as you're using a heat protectant, your hair is not going to get damaged. So, yeah. So, um, I, I hope I kind of touched on everything in this video and I hope it wasn't too long. Like, definitely comment some hair rules that you no longer follow or some myths that you're surprised to hear that I no longer follow. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you want to see my blow dry routine. Let me know. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all my next video.